This video will cover the topic, Application Problem with a Linear Function, Finding a Coordinate Given Two Points. I know what linear functions look like, but what kind of application problems will we solve with them? Let's take a look at an example problem. The credit remaining on a phone card in dollars is a linear function of the total calling time in minutes. The remaining credit after 25 minutes of calls is $21.50 and the remaining credit after 56 minutes of calls is $17.16. What is the remaining credit after 67 minutes of calls? We can see from this graph that our situation can be represented as a linear function. We will first find the equation of the given line in slope-intercept form. I'm confused. Don't we need points to find the equation of a line? How do we do this with a word problem? Going back to the graph, we see that the remaining credit in dollars labels the y-axis and calling time in minutes labels the x-axis. This means that when we're given a specific calling time and remaining credit, we can think of these as x and y coordinates of a point. The slope m of a line passing through the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is as follows. m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. We're told that the remaining credit on the phone card after 25 minutes of calls is $21.50 and after 56 minutes is $17.16. We can then identify our first point as 21, 21.50 and our second point as 56,17.16. We can then use these values in the formula above to find the slope. When we simplify, we get m equals negative 0.14. Next, the equation of the line in slope-intercept form is given by the following. y equals negative 0.14x plus b. To find b, we can use either of the points 25, 21.50, or 56, 17.16. Let's try using the first one. We'll substitute 25 in for x and 21.50 in for y. When we simplify, we get b equals 25. Now we can write our complete equation of the line. Our equation of the line is defined as y equals negative 0.14x plus 25. We can now find the remaining credit after 67 minutes of calls by using x equals 67 in the equation. When we simplify, we get y equals 15.62. This tells us that the remaining credit after 67 minutes of calls is $15.62. Okay, so when completing these types of application problems, we first find the equation of the line that represents our situation. We can do this by using the two given points to find the slope and y-intercept. We then plug in the variable we are given to solve for the variable we don't know. That sounds great. It seems like you're getting the hang of this topic. 